You know, it wouldn't be that bad. What? Taking Nico in. I mean, Bobby's not going to be here anymore, and you're going to be married and self-supporting. Yeah, if I find a job. You will. And it's not as if Nico can't pay his way or anything. He can help around the house. I suppose. Of course, if your mate Samuels had his way, the problem would have been sold to birth. He's not it? my mate. Come on, I thought you were his number one fan. I'm a fan of his training programs, not of his attitudes. What's the change? Well, I've seen sides of him I haven't liked. Like what? The way he treated Nico. <sighs> if I remember right, you were pretty off to Nico yourself. So? So you were. So I'm not proud of it. That's good to hear. So you're still going to stay with the power pack? Yeah, of course I am. Jeff's still a good coach. Yeah, but if you don't treat him like a little tin god, you'll be out so fast your runners will melt. I'm allowed to have opinions of my own. <laughs> you want to bet? He can say what he likes, as long as he doesn't impose his fascist views on me. Oh, you tell him, Steve. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes when you finally do stand up to him, though. I can handle it. Max, now why weren't you at training this morning? Sorry, sir, I got held up at home. Held up at home? Look, you realise you're going to have to work twice as hard tomorrow? Yes, sir, I realise that. I'll be there. You'd better be. I will be. And what was so important this morning? Um, Nico Pappas wanted to come and live with us, so we had a family meeting about it. <sighs> Look, there's only one place that idiot should be living. Yes, sir, that's what we thought. So we decided to let him stay. Oh, wonderful. Look, we're going to have to get you out of there. Well, I've been thinking about that. Look, it's just been one distraction after another lately. They're not supporting you, Steve. Now, how do you expect to achieve your goals in that atmosphere? And now they're turning in the Summer Bay Hotel for retards no, and I'm social misfits. I'm not leaving them, sir. Tom's been getting to you, has he? No, it's my own decision. They're my family and I don't want to leave them. So, so I'll see you in class. Right. Sugar, which we convert to energy, comes from various sources. Davenport, where does lactose come from? No. Madison, if I wanted your answer, I would have asked you. Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr Samuels. Not at all, sir. I just have an announcement to make. As you know, I have been standing in as acting headmaster for Mr Bertram since his unfortunate illness. I have just heard from the department that my position has been ratified. So, as of today, I am officially headmaster. Quiet! Congratulations, sir. Thank you. It gives me no great pleasure to have achieved this position through the tragic deterioration of Mr Bertram's health. And I'm sure you will all join with me in wishing him a safe and speedy recovery. Thank you. That's all. That's all you need. When I say quiet, I mean quiet. Davenport, see me tomorrow afternoon for an hour's detention. Sir. Shut up, Matheson. Now, we we're talking about sugar, where it comes from. So, who can tell me where lactose comes from, please? He gave her an attention. Half the kids in the class are talking, and he picked on her. Yeah, well, if you ask me, he's a pain in the bum. <laughs> Matheson. Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, this just arrived in the PE office. There's a fun run at Yabby Creek. I want you to enter. I think it'll be a good experience. Oh, but it's on Saturday. That's right. Well, I can't, sir. Frank's getting married on Saturday. Oh, well, what time? Three o'clock. Well, that starts at 12. You'll make it. No. What if something happens? What, what if it starts late? Look, I'm the best man, sir. It'll kill me if I don't get there. You'll get there. No, no, sir, I can't. I'm sorry. Look, Matheson, now you've been training for a couple of months and you've been trained to compete, and that's a competition. Now, are you going to waste all that hard work on a hundred to one chance you might be late for a wedding? It's not just a wedding, it's Frank's. Look, am I hearing this right? Now, I thought you were dedicated. I am. I'm Can't you see things from my point of view? Look, Matheson, I'm your coach. I'm not meant to see things from your point of view. You're meant to see them from my point of view. Hey, if you've got a problem with that, there's not a place for you in my squad. And I quit. What? I quit. I'm out of the power pack. Thanks for all your help. I see in class. Now, don't go off half cock, boy. I think maybe you'd like to reconsider. I think maybe I wouldn't.
You were right about Samuels. Well, I thought I could train with him and know his opinions, but he won't let you. The guy just won't let you. He's always got to hear you agree with him. What did I tell you? You know, he could make life hell for you at school, couldn't he? You know that, don't you? I'll be right. If I keep out of his way, you won't come gunning for me. Hey, Steve! Hey, Steve, wait for me! What's up? I'm going with you, remember? I said I'd be your coach. No, it's OK, Nico. Thanks, but I'll do it myself. But I want to help. It's 5Ks. I mean, I've been doing it for weeks. I'm used to it, but it might be a bit much for you. No, I'll be all right. Don't forget, you promised Tommy work on your grand's farm. Now, we don't want to wear yourself out, do you? I'll see you at breakfast, OK? OK. Hi. Along. You run behind and try and catch me, okay? Come on! Give us a pace, and after a stroll, let's go, guys. All the way, let's push it. Hey guys, I'll catch up with you later. Matheson, you get here. Couldn't leave well enough alone, eh, boy? All right. If that's how you want to play it, that's how we'll play it. I'll see you in class. I don't know why we have so many science textbooks. Someone should write them in one. Make life a lot easier. Matheson? Pick that up. What? Don't what me, boy. That piece of paper you just threw down. No, I didn't throw it down. Don't be insolent. Pick it up. And report to me this afternoon for a half hour's detention. Sir? One hour. Oh, what was that all about? It looks like you got in his rice. I can handle it. Matheson, stand up. Do you consider yourself a responsible person, Matheson? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. I believe you've already collected a one-hour detention from me today, haven't you? Yes, sir. And here you are, letting the class run right while you just sit back chatting. Get out of this classroom, Matheson. But it's not your class, sir. In the light of Mr. Foley leaving so suddenly, I'm taking this class and you will not be a part of it. Get out! Oh, and Matheson, you've collected another one-hour detention on Friday, too. What are you doing out here? Mr. Samuel sent me out, sir. What for this time? Nothing, sir. Oh, Mr. Fisher. I thought I heard voices. Is there some trouble here, Mr. Samuels? Nothing I can't handle, sir. If Matheson is giving you trouble, I prefer you send him to me after class. I can't see any purpose being served in making him miss a valuable lesson. Certainly, sir. I defended you once, when you were about to be expelled, because I thought you were worth it. Well, I was wrong, and I don't make the same mistake twice. By the time I'm through with you, you'll be out of this school in the cold where you belong. Understand? You can't handle anyone seeing through you, can you? Get inside.
How's your day? Oh, uh, just wanted another to... day in Summer Bay. I'll be in the bedroom. Why didn't you want to say anything? Because I don't. It's my problem. Anyway, I still reckon you should take it to Fisher. Oh, Fisher's not going to believe me over at teacher. Especially when it was Samuels who stuck up for me when I got expelled. Yeah, I guess so. Fish is a pain anyway. If Mr. Bertram was still here, things would be different. Maybe. But he's not, though, is he? Why don't you talk to Tom and Pippa about it? Because I'll go straight to Mr. Fisher. And if Fisher does nothing, they'll want to take it up in the education department. Then welfare will know, and the whole thing will start getting out of hand. I got myself into this, I'll get myself out of it. No, I should have told him straight. It's just, once I started, it got bigger and bigger. I didn't mean to hurt him. He'll come round. He's so cut, he won't even talk to me. We well, should have told him before Christian. Yeah, I know. It's easy to know now what I should have done. It wasn't so easy at the time, though. But it might have been if I could have just worked out how the hell he thinks. Huh? Nico, if I could think the way he thinks. That's it. What? Samuels. Well, what about him? It's just a problem I've got. Think the way he thinks. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Well, I'm glad I've solved someone's problems. Matheson, schoolyard's an absolute disgrace. There's litter from one end to the other. Report to me at morning recess to tidy it up. Why me? Because I told you to. Mr. Samuels? Well? Well, just lately, sir, you seem to have taken a personal exception to me. And I'm finding it awfully hard to come to school under those circumstances. Oh, my heart bleeds for you, Matheson. Why don't you ask your foster parents if they'll send you to a private school instead? Well, I thought of that, but they really can't afford it. Oh, well, then you're just going to have to tough it out here, then, aren't you? Or, as you mentioned yesterday, I could let it get to me and end up being expelled. And after sleeping on it, I think that's what I'll do. But if I have to go... I'll go in a blaze of glory. So the next time you pick on me, I'm going to walk up to you in assembly in front of the whole school and I'm going to lay you out cold. Because you know I can do it. Sure, I'll get expelled. But it'll be worth it just to see the look on your face and hear the rest of the school cheering me on. And I know the way you think. When someone like you loses face, they never get it back again. So, want to risk it? So, Are you threatening me, boy? Yes, sir. I believe that is the correct definition 